Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again after months of spouting gibberish. For a spacecraft that has provided information to scientists for about 45 years, the chilling discovery Voyager 1 has made is giving everyone something to worry about. It has picked up a strange hum from beyond our solar system and noticed odd changes in tiny high-energy particles from space called cosmic rays which can affect electronics and the environment. Shockingly, Voyager's signal is still strong, suggesting its antenna is still pointing at Earth. However, the data from the system that keeps the antenna aligned looks random and impossible, even though the system seems to be working. And it is more frightening that this issue hasn't triggered safe mode, a backup mode that protects the spacecraft. What did Voyager 1 find out there in space? What danger does this pose to us on Earth? Join us as we explore NASA's warning about the impossible discovery Voyager 1 has made after 45 years, the launch of the Voyager spacecraft. On September 5, 1977, notable events included the death of George Barnes, a pioneering American swing jazz and session guitarist who passed away from a heart attack at the age of 56. But the launch of Voyager 1 was one that really stood out. Launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, using a Titan III E Centaur rocket, it marked the beginning of an amazing journey. Just 13 days earlier, on August 20th, Voyager 2 started its mission. Their main job was to study the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. And if you're wondering what is the usefulness of such a mission, well, formed about 4.5 billion years ago, Saturn and Jupiter likely migrated outward from closer to the Sun, just as our planet is slowly moving away from the Sun. Studying Saturn and its rings helps us understand the evolution of solar systems, including those with exoplanets similar to our gas giants. But these spacecraft did way more than that. They've traveled farther from Earth than any other man-made object, reaching the farthest parts of space we've ever explored. Voyagers 1 and 2 are now over 12 billion kilometers away and keep sending back incredible information that keeps surprising scientists. But that's not all. Over 40 years ago, the twin Voyager probes found something surprising. Jupiter and Saturn had very active moons, not just dead and cratered like we thought. Voyager 2 was especially impressive. It was the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus in 1986 and the only one to visit Neptune three years later. It gave us a lot of new information about these distant planets, including Neptune's strong winds, icy volcanoes on its moon Triton, and new moons around Uranus. NASA has taken steps to keep the Voyager spacecraft running for as long as possible, like turning off heaters and unneeded parts to save energy. They plan for the mission to wrap up by 2030, but with careful management, the spacecraft could keep sending data for years beyond that. For the scientists and engineers who have worked on this mission, its eventual end will be bittersweet. Their hard work has led to amazing discoveries and a deeper understanding of our solar system. The Voyager's findings have inspired future scientists and space fans, showing us the wonders of space in ways we never expected. But beyond these remarkable findings, there are mysteries that surround the Voyagers. Mysterious issue experienced on Voyager 1? As mentioned before, these missions by the Voyagers changed how we see distant planets and moons. We learned amazing things like Europa's icy surface, Io's huge volcanic eruptions, and Jupiter's faint rings. What we thought were lifeless worlds turned out to be very active. Voyager 2 also discovered 10 new moons around Uranus and revealed Neptune's extreme weather, with winds up to 1,000 miles per hour and temperatures as low as minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton, Neptune's biggest moon, was found to be one of the coldest places in the solar system, with ice volcanoes spitting out frozen particles and nitrogen gas. Voyager 1, which launched 45 years ago and is now 14.5 billion miles from Earth, is still working and sending data back. However, there's a problem. The data from the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which manages the spacecraft's orientation, doesn't align with Voyager's actual position. Imagine a compass that's supposed to show which way Voyager is pointing, but it keeps giving random directions. For instance, if the compass shows Voyager is pointing north while it's actually facing east, the mismatch means the spacecraft's orientation information is unreliable. 
This discrepancy makes it difficult to understand how Voyager is oriented and whether its antenna is correctly aligned to communicate with Earth. This is important because Voyager's system needs to keep its antenna pointed at Earth to communicate. Because Voyager is so far out in interstellar space, it takes light 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel one way. As a result, sending a message to Voyager and receiving a reply takes about two days. The Voyager team currently believes the AACS is still functioning, but the data it provides appears erratic or nonsensical. Despite this, the system hasn't triggered a safe mode yet, where only essential functions are maintained to help engineers diagnose and address potential issues that could endanger the spacecraft. Voyager's signal remains as strong as ever, indicating that the antenna is still correctly aimed at Earth. The team is working to figure out whether the incorrect data is originating from the AACS itself or if another system is causing the issue. Which other system could that be? Keep watching to find out. Until the team fully understands the issue, they can't predict how it might impact Voyager's ability to collect and send scientific data, according to NASA. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, noted that encountering mysteries like this is expected at this stage of the mission. With both spacecraft nearly 45 years old, far exceeding initial expectations, and operating in uncharted high-radiation interstellar space, the engineering team faces significant challenges. Nonetheless, Dodd is confident that if there is a solution to the AACS problem, the team will find it. If the team can't identify the source of the issue, they might adapt to it, according to Dodd. If they find the problem, it could potentially be resolved with a software update or by using backup hardware. Voyager has already depended on backup systems to extend its mission. For instance, in 2017, the probe used thrusters that hadn't been fired since the 1970s, and they worked perfectly even after 37 years of inactivity. The aging probes produce less and less power each year, so to conserve energy, NASA has turned off non-essential systems and heaters. This ensures that the remaining power is used to keep the most important systems and scientific instruments functioning. Voyager 2, its twin, is still functioning well in interstellar space, 12.1 billion miles from Earth. In contrast, Neptune, the farthest planet from Earth, is at most 2.9 billion miles away. To get a good grasp of what the Voyagers have done, it is important to talk about their exploits and discoveries. The exploits of Voyager 1 and its discoveries. Voyager 1 has been exploring our solar system since 1977 and is now in interstellar space, the region beyond the heliopause, the bubble created by the Sun's energetic particles and magnetic fields. Although launched after Voyager 2, Voyager 1 took a faster route and exited the asteroid belt earlier, overtaking its twin on December 15, 1977. During its mission, Voyager 1 discovered a thin ring around Jupiter and two new moons, Thebe and Metis. At Saturn, it found five new moons and a new ring, the G-ring. Voyager 1 was also the first spacecraft to cross the heliosphere, entering a region where influences from outside our solar system are stronger than those from our Sun. It is the first human-made object to venture into interstellar space. Now you're probably wondering, what's the big deal about this interstellar space? You see, interstellar space is the vast, mostly empty region between stars in a galaxy. To imagine this, think of a galaxy as a large city, with stars as individual houses. Interstellar space would be like the wide open spaces, streets and parks between these houses. Within our solar system, the sun is at the center with planets orbiting around it, forming a kind of neighborhood. Beyond the edge of this neighborhood lies interstellar space, similar to the open countryside beyond a city's outskirts. Our solar system is enclosed in a bubble known as the heliosphere, created by the sun's wind and magnetic field. Outside this bubble is interstellar space, where the influence of the sun's wind fades and the environment is shaped by winds and magnetic fields from other stars. Radiation in our solar system is predominantly from the sun. In interstellar space, however, radiation from other stars and cosmic events becomes more significant. This is why entering the interstellar space is such a big deal. Interestingly, Voyager 1's path took it very close to Saturn's moon Titan where it discovered a hazy orange atmosphere with complex chemistry. 
Each flyby brought new questions and loads of data that challenged what we thought we knew about these distant worlds. Unlike regular spacecraft, Voyager 1 and 2 were precisely designed to rotate 15 times slower than a clock's hour hand, which reduced blur as they sped through space, allowing them to capture clear images and data. Even before reaching the outer planets, they amazed scientists and the public with their impressive imaging. Months before arriving at Jupiter, they sent back images of the planet's swirling clouds and the Great Red Spot, exciting everyone at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Remarkably, the Voyager probes still use 8-track cassette technology, popular in the 1970s. But why 8-track tapes? In the early days of space exploration, digital storage technology wasn't advanced, so they used 8-track tapes because they were reliable and long-lasting. Surprisingly, these tapes contain important scientific data about the outer planets, their moons, and space beyond our solar system. Sounds interesting, but the best part is yet to come. The real game-changer for the Voyagers was finding active volcanoes on Io, making it the most volcanic place in our solar system. Their exploration of moons and outer planets greatly expanded our understanding of these distant worlds. They discovered a possible ocean under Europa's icy surface, raising hopes for finding alien life. They also found geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus, hinting at liquid water beneath the surface, which encouraged more missions to explore these moons and their potential for life beyond Earth. Voyager 2's visits to Neptune and Uranus were just as groundbreaking. When it got close to Uranus, it discovered that this blue-green planet had many moons, including the active Miranda and a complex magnetic field. These discoveries led to more missions and greatly improved our knowledge of the outer planets and their moons. In 1989, Voyager 2 gave us our first detailed photos of Neptune, showing its vibrant atmosphere, deep blue color, and the great dark spot. It also found faint rings around Neptune and discovered six new moons. As the Voyagers traveled further, they kept sending back important data, including information about the heliosphere. Since their launch, the twin Voyagers have continued to make groundbreaking discoveries. One of the most unexpected findings was that Jupiter had rings. Although faint, these rings added to the mystery surrounding the gas giant. Additionally, Voyager 2's discovery that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, had an icy crust over 60 meters thick challenged earlier theories about these distant celestial bodies. This finding opened new directions for planetary science research, suggesting the possibility of habitable ice moons. The Voyager spacecraft's breathtaking images confirmed the unusual signals picked up from Io, revealing a dynamic terrain characterized by towering volcanic plumes and the discharge of volcanic debris. Pele, a well-known volcano on Io, is one of its most spectacular features, with eruptions reaching heights 30 times that of Mount Everest and covering an area about the size of France. The Voyager spacecraft captured over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons, showcasing the grandeur of the planet and the remarkable diversity of moonscapes in the Jovian system. These discoveries have significantly expanded our understanding of the variety and complexity of celestial bodies in our solar system, even in its furthest reaches. In addition to enhancing our knowledge of the outer planets and their moons, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have provided priceless data during their interstellar travels. Their study of the heliosphere, a vast bubble-shaped region dominated by the solar wind, culminated in their crossing of the heliopause, the boundary where interstellar space begins and the solar wind's influence diminishes. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 became the first human-made objects to enter interstellar space, achieving this milestone in 2012 and 2018, respectively. This transition advanced our understanding of the boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy by providing scientists with a wealth of information on the characteristics of magnetic fields and interstellar plasma. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was found to be one of the coldest locations in the solar system, with surface temperatures as low as minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton also exhibited peculiar features, such as ice volcanoes that ejected icy particles and nitrogen gas five miles into its thin atmosphere. 
the Voyagers received a crucial gravity boost after their mission at Jupiter, propelling them towards Saturn. Without this boost, they would not have been able to escape the Sun's gravitational pull and travel further into space. After this, Voyagers 1 and 2 took separate paths, each exploring uncharted territories. Voyager 1's trajectory brought it close to Titan, Saturn's moon, enveloped in a thick orange atmosphere. This encounter sparked further research into Titan's complex composition. Voyager 1 then ascended out of the planetary system, heading towards interstellar space. As the Voyagers traveled further into space, their equipment continued to send back crucial scientific data. The probe provided vital information about the heliosphere, the bubble-shaped region of space dominated by the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. After passing through the heliopause, which marks the edge of the heliosphere, the Voyagers were able to investigate the interstellar medium. It gets even more fascinating. NASA has implemented policies to conserve the Voyagers' remaining energy and extend their missions as long as possible. By carefully managing their energy supplies and shutting off non-essential systems, the spacecraft are anticipated to survive until at least 2030. The data they return during this period will significantly enhance our understanding of the interstellar medium and the outermost regions of the solar system. Additionally, gravity assist techniques were key to the Voyager mission's success, allowing them to explore distant parts of the solar system. Since the Voyagers needed more power to reach these far-off places than their engines alone could provide, they used the gravity of the planets to help them. This technique, called a gravitational slingshot, involves using a planet's gravity to speed up the spacecraft and save fuel. For example, Voyager 1 used Jupiter's gravity to gain extra speed on its way to Saturn. NASA's engineers carefully planned the spacecraft's approach to Jupiter to make sure it got the right boost without any missteps. This precise maneuvering was crucial for the Voyagers to complete their mission and gather valuable data. These missions have also highlighted the critical role of robotic exploration in advancing our knowledge of the cosmos. NASA has implemented policies to conserve the Voyagers' remaining energy and extend their missions for as long as possible. If energy supplies are carefully managed and non-essential systems are shut down, the spacecraft is expected to remain operational until at least 2030. The data returned during this period will greatly enhance our understanding of the interstellar medium and the outermost regions of the solar system. Beyond their scientific contributions, the Voyager missions leave a lasting legacy. Each spacecraft carries the iconic Golden Records, which are audio and visual records showcasing the diversity of life and culture on Earth. These records serve as a message to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations that might encounter the spacecraft, reflecting humanity's curiosity and desire to connect with the broader cosmos. However, Voyager 1 detected a strange, persistent hum beyond our solar system, which is concerning. Persistent, strange hum discovered. To everyone's shock, Voyager 1 has detected a persistent hum beyond our solar system. A team from Cornell University analyzed data from the spacecraft, which is 14 billion miles away, and found emissions from interstellar gas. One of the most astonishing recent discoveries from the Voyagers is the unexpected increase in cosmic rays found in interstellar space. This has made scientists rethink their theories about the interstellar medium and the environment beyond our solar system. The data collected by the Voyagers on magnetic fields, plasma waves and cosmic rays is invaluable for understanding the composition of interstellar space and the forces shaping our galaxy. The long-lasting success of the Voyager missions shows the ingenuity and dedication of the scientists, engineers and technicians who designed, built and operated the spacecraft. Despite extreme conditions and vast distances, the Voyagers have continued to function sending back data. As the farthest spacecraft from Earth, Voyager 1 has detected constant and faint signals from interstellar gas. This is like a gentle rain with occasional bursts similar to lightning in a storm, according to astronomer James Cords. The spacecraft's data shows there's more quiet activity in the interstellar gas than we thought, allowing scientists to study how this gas interacts with the sun's solar wind. This means Voyager 1 is sending back important details even without solar events. 
Voyager 1, despite being so far away and old, still works well and continues to provide valuable information. This ongoing success highlights the brilliance and durability of the Voyager missions, making them an incredible achievement in space exploration. Voyager 1 is picking up a strange, faint hum from deep space, which reminds us of the golden records it carries. These records were sent with Voyager 1 to share messages with possible alien civilizations. This detection of strange hum by Voyager 1 as it explores interstellar space has sparked intriguing speculation. This faint, steady hum from interstellar gas observed as Voyager 1 passed beyond the heliopause is a novel phenomenon in space exploration. Some have begun to wonder if this hum could be indicative of alien activity. The idea stems from the notion that if advanced extraterrestrial civilizations exist, they might use sophisticated technologies or emit signals that could potentially be detected across vast distances. The hum detected by Voyager 1 is unusual and persistent, characteristics that might be seen as signals from alien sources rather than natural cosmic phenomena. While the scientific community largely views this hum as a result of interstellar plasma waves influenced by the sun, it doesn't stop the imagination from running wild. If this hum were indeed an alien signal, it could be an attempt at communication or an artifact of an advanced technology we don't yet understand. This mysterious sound makes us wonder about the safety and impact of these records as they travel farther from Earth. Concerns about the Golden Records The Golden Records aboard Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are much more than scientific instruments. They are ambitious messages from humanity. Each record is a gold-plated copper disc containing a variety of information about Earth and its inhabitants, intended to communicate with any potential extraterrestrial civilizations that might come across them. These records include greetings in multiple languages, a selection of music from different cultures, and images of human life and nature. They were designed to serve as a time capsule, offering a snapshot of life on Earth and showcasing our technological and cultural achievements. The inclusion of the Golden Records reflects a deep curiosity and desire to connect with other intelligent beings. They embody humanity's hope to reach out beyond our solar system, representing our culture and diversity. They also stand as a testament to our technological prowess, demonstrating our ability to create something that could potentially last for billions of years and travel across the vastness of interstellar space. However, there are arguments against their inclusion as well, one concern is the potential risks associated with making contact with unknown civilizations. The records could be discovered by a civilization that might not be friendly or could misinterpret our intentions, leading to unintended and possibly dangerous consequences. There's also the issue of misinterpretation. The records might not be easily understood without context, leading to confusion about Earth's culture and intentions. Moreover, some worry about privacy and security. Sending detailed information about Earth and its inhabitants could be seen as exposing our existence to unknown entities, raising concerns about the potential implications of such disclosure. Despite these concerns, the Golden Records remain a bold and thought-provoking gesture, symbolizing humanity's enduring quest to reach out and understand our place in the cosmos. A man was instrumental in this initiative. Keep watching to find out who. Astronomer Carl Sagan was instrumental in the missions exceeding their original objectives. As a member of the Voyager imaging team, he advocated for one final round of pictures before the spacecraft's cameras were shut down, a farewell gift to humanity. Sagan's persistence paid off when Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward the inner solar system on Valentine's Day 1990, capturing 60 images. The most famous of these, known as the Pale Blue Dot, remains an enduring representation of our place in the universe. Taken from a staggering distance of 3.8 billion miles, this is the farthest photograph of Earth yet recorded. Earth appears as a tiny, barely discernible pale blue speck. Sagan strongly believed in the likelihood of intelligent extraterrestrial life. Sagan was concerned about what might happen if the first man-made objects to leave the solar system were discovered by aliens. He had already advocated for small metal plaques on the Pioneer 10 and 11 probes to indicate their origin if found by extraterrestrials. 
For Voyager 1 and 2, Sagan and his team aimed for something more detailed, a record containing images and sounds to represent the diversity of human life and culture. At a National Space Society meeting in Los Angeles, researchers Rebecca Orchard and Sherry Wells Jensen from Bowling Green State University discussed concerns about the golden record on NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 probes. The golden record contains 117 images, sounds of humpback whales, greetings in 54 languages, a 20-minute sound essay on life on Earth, and 90 minutes of music from composers like Bach and Stravinsky, as well as Javanese gamelan and Bulgarian folk music. Orchard and Wells Jensen argue that the golden record is very human-centered and might be confusing to alien life forms with different senses or ways of interpreting information. For example, the combination of sounds and images could create misunderstandings if aliens can't match them as intended. Greetings might sound like arguments, and mismatched sounds and images could seem odd. Music from various cultures could be puzzling to beings unfamiliar with human sounds. Some experts also expressed concerns that the Voyager records might be biased and misleading. The Golden Records, designed to communicate with extraterrestrials, could pose risks depending on how they are interpreted. The problem arises because messages to extraterrestrial intelligence, METI, are often created by astronomers and engineers rather than experts in cultural communication. This can result in messages that are naive and potentially misleading, which might be misinterpreted or seen as deceptive. Although Voyager 1 is currently 12 billion miles away and won't approach another star system for 40,000 years, the researchers highlight that the project reveals the limits of our control over how we're perceived. Orchard hopes that the effort to send a record of humanity shows something meaningful about us, despite the potential for confusion. But these concerns are not even raised by these scientists alone. Paying close attention, one would notice that movies and books often imagine what could happen if aliens took over Earth. In films like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, aliens come to Earth with plans to replace humans. The day the Earth stood still shows aliens arriving and taking control of Earth. In books, H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds has Martians attacking and defeating humans. Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End depicts aliens helping humans evolve but changing our world drastically. Some scientists, like Stephen Hawking, also worry about contacting aliens because they might not be friendly. They think advanced aliens could see us as unimportant or even a threat. These ideas show why it's important to be cautious about making contact with extraterrestrial life. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are now in interstellar space, traveling farther away from Earth. Their journey can be followed live using NASA's Eyes on the Solar System app, which updates their positions every five minutes, and it's a great way to see where these amazing spacecraft are exploring. NASA's Voyager 1 probe has recently started sending back useful data from all four of its science instruments. This follows a period of trouble that began in November 2023, when the spacecraft began transmitting confusing signals due to a malfunction with one of its three onboard computers. Engineers managed to fix the issue in April by sending a command to Voyager 1's Flight Data Subsystem, FDS, which organizes and transmits the science data. This command allowed Voyager 1 to send back its first readable message in four months, helping engineers identify and address the problem. NASA's Voyager 1 probe is now sending back useful data from all four of its science instruments. The trouble began in November 2023 when the spacecraft started sending confusing signals because of a problem with one of its computers. Engineers fixed the issue in April by sending a command that allowed Voyager 1 to send readable data again. By May, two of the instruments were working, and after more adjustments, all four instruments are now functioning. These instruments collect information about plasma waves, magnetic fields, and particles in space. However, Engineers still need to fix some issues, like getting the timekeeping software in sync and maintaining the digital tape recorder. Despite Voyager 1's recovery and the resumption of data collection, concerns about the potential risks of the spacecraft persist, especially with the golden record. The possibility that extraterrestrials might misinterpret or misuse the information sent by the Voyager probes remains a valid worry. 
If advanced alien civilizations were to decode the messages and images from the Golden Record, there is a risk they could misinterpret them in ways that pose dangers to humanity. What do you think about the Voyager's discoveries and glitches encountered? Do you applaud this mission or do share the opinion that they expose humans to alien invasion? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Click the next video on your screen. It is another video you will enjoy.